Yo, 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 you guys, it's Zach Cartoon is back once again, and I'm hitting y'all with another Flash episode review. This episode's title is News Flash. If y'all are digging the content, go ahead and hit me with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. The episode opens up with a young lady trying to film the incident that's happening from the previous season, The Enlightenment, I believe, and she is like dangerously close nearly getting hit by multiple, multiple flying particles and is saved by XS before we know it's her. Her camera ends up breaking in that part of the episode. Iris is now trying to make breakfast for the whole family and Iris can't cook to save her life. She tried making a little lightning bolts with pancakes, ended up burning them, burning the toast. She burned everything, I think, except for the, the, the drinks. You know, Barry was trying to be nice about it, but Nora just kind of was like, mm -mm. Now I'm good. I'm not a breakfast person and zipped off. Sherlock Wells is trying to pay off his debt to Team Flash by helping them find Cicada and trying to get as much information from them as he can to find out who he is. Team Flash ends up going to Barry's um, baseball or softball game. And while there, Nora throws some pretty serious shade over Iris because there's another person who's do also doing a blog and they're getting information faster and has three times as many followers. And it was just kind of like really just awkward. You see um, Caitlyn Snow and Cecile just kind of looking like the whole time. I was like, oh. Somebody showed up to the game with a bomb. Cecile was the first to be like, hey, something's wrong with this guy. Something's not right. They try to evacuate everybody on the field and then XS just jumps into action and saves everybody and throws the backpack into the air and it explodes. Nobody really knew if the guy had a bomb. And that is because they are both being controlled by a new meta, Spencer. Sherlock Wells is really, really, really trying to downplay Ralph um, because Ralph ends up discovering or making the suggestion they focus on trying to find the mask that Cicada's wearing. And if they kind of focus on the mask, they can end up finding Cicada's true identity. And Wells is really just downplaying him like hard. Iris goes to go see Spencer and you know, the two chat for a little bit and Iris is like, look, I have an inside scoop and I need you to stop putting information out about XS because somebody is after her. And Spencer's just like, look, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. It was okay when you were doing it, when you were talking about your blog about The Flash, but when I do it, it's a problem, no. I'm gonna run your blog into the ground. Spencer really only wants to do this to be famous. The funny thing about the bombing event that XS and um, I believe the name's dude is Jones was at is neither of the two remember being there or getting there. Jones does not remember packing up the bomb, even though there's footage of him putting it, to, like, putting it together or doing something with it. And then XS doesn't even remember suiting up and going to say everybody. That's the one thing that's consistent with both of these two characters. Barry and Nora end up going to a crime scene that is on fire. And before the two can put it out, because Nora doesn't know how to put out fires, Barry sees a message on the television and it says, go to Nevada. So he zooms off to Nevada, leaving Nora by herself. This is all Spencer's doing. Barry's headed to Nevada. So, no so Nora has to be walked through how to put out a fire Thanks to Iris, the two are together and it works out. The team's suspicions about Spencer grows. So they end up giving Nora a device to tell if she's a meta or not. Ralph and Wells end up going to follow this lead about the masks and they find out that the factory they go to has three locations that have masks just like this. In fact, they're not the only group that use these masks. And it seems like Ralph's lead was a dead end and Wells makes a point of, like to bring that up, but lurking, within the facility they went to, it's Cicada looking at them, but they don't know where or who he is. So it's kind of like, oh, Cicada's just like, oh, okay, y'all popping up my job now, all right, I got you, family. So Nora goes to meet Spencer, and these two start flirting hard, and Nora's not using the device at all, so Iris pops up and interrupts everything. We find out why Nora hates her mother so much, because Nora, had a chip placed in her when she was younger, taking away her speed. And she feels like she was cheated. This, these are the actions of a future 
Iris Webb. We find out exactly that Spencer manipulates people through her app and through the television. I guess it's hypnotic. And she ends up telling XS to kill the Flash. The two are zipping by, zoom, zoom, zooming. Iris ends up going down there and uses one of Cisco's little teleporter items. And she ends up shooting her daughter to stop her from killing the Flash. And then as soon as that's over, they find out that Spencer's within the vicinity and Barry takes her down. Wells talks about the mask and goes into detail about why Cicada needs it and how it's helping him and how Cicada has a damaged lung. And he actually gives credit to Route in a surprise center of events. I did not expect that at all. We learn that this is all thanks to the Enlightenment. And while that particular event created metas who are like, you know, actual humans, it also created meta tech. Because we find out that Spencer's phone is part of that meta tech. Iris tries to talk to Nora and it doesn't end well because Nora's just like, there's no excuse for y'all taking my speed. And Barry walks in and is like, I back your mother 100%. I'm sure she had a reason for doing that. Nora just ends up running, running away and ends up staying with Papa Joe. And the end of the episode, we see Cicada. He's in a lot of pain. And I think he discovers he has super strength as his scar is glowing. Now he was kind of strong already. He could fly, take away powers, create shields, control his little lightning bolt at will. He might be gaining powers. I did hear, we're, we're seeing more of his powers manifest. Overall, I enjoyed this episode. It was good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Out.